Welcome back guys to part 11 of my God of War Platinum walkthrough for Ragnarok. We're completely avoiding the story in this video. Yeah, I've decided I'm sick of all that narrative driven pacing, making the game run really slow. Um, no, but really, we have, we're have we going to be exploring some optional areas on this one. And what I'm doing to begin with, I'm just going to upgrade my Fury. You've probably noticed I've not really upgraded anything so far. So yeah, I'm going to upgrade my Fury on uh, my Rage. Just so I do a bit more damage and such. I'm going to do the same on my Runic Attacks, as you're seeing here. I don't really upgrade my, well, not upgrade, but purchase skills so much. Because for the most part, I just use basic attacks and um, just spam my runics in the meantime. And obviously, use my rage when I can. The skills, obviously, it means you've got to learn different commands and, uh, you know, different button combinations. So, by all means, if you want to unlock some skills, guys, do so. It's not like anything we purchase is going to be game breaking, it's all about raising your level. Um, but that's not going to be till after the main story. Yeah, so once you're done, get back in your boat, sail across the river, and get this dew off. I forget. I forget what this is a dew off. We're about to find out. But yeah, we're going to be fully exploring the Bay of Bounty now. Yeah, I'm doing this post commentary. Yeah, dew off defense. An extra two. It all makes a difference in the end. Yeah, when it comes to um, our end game build, I don't really have one. It's not like God of War Rag... Uh, sorry, this is God of War Ragnarok. God of War 2018, I meant to say. Where I've carefully selected my build, picked it out. This one's a bit easier. So I've not really had to really, you know, look at builds, crunch all the numbers, try to figure out exactly which is absolute best when trying to be quick as well. And a build which is easy to um, get used to. So, yeah, don't really have to make a build on this, guys. So um, when we do come to upgrading armor, you don't have to upgrade the same one as me. So we're on Dragon Beach now, guys. And you see that seal I've just broken? This is for a Norna chest. You're supposed to freeze the gazers here and then not a seal. But if you know where it is, you can just get them like I did then. So I've got two of the seals. And this is one of the Norna chests where all you have to do is smash a seal. And it will remain broken. Yet yeah, these ones do not fix themselves. So smash all three. And then the Norna chest will open. But kill these enemies first. Um, yeah, so Bay of Bounty. Win uh, Svartalfheim. Did I pronounce it correctly? But we're only going to be exploring the Bay of Bounty uh, half of the map of the realm in this video. The southern half, there's a favour which takes you down at the end of the game. So we don't really want to be going down there now because then we're going to waste time because later on we're going to be going down there again anyway. Um, but there's also a Berserker boss down south where the path eventually leads to and it's very very difficult so if you're similar level to me and you try and do that boss now you're gonna have a lot of difficulty so that's another reason why we're leaving the southern part of the realm until the end game so just doing the southern part guys it's vital time and then we're gonna crack back on the story I don't actually really do the next main quest here I do a few of the next story beats to take us into the next proper main quest um, but when it comes to doing a proper mission, you know, the ones that take like two hours, I don't really do it in this one. All we're doing here is doing this bit of exploration and getting ready for the next main mission. So you get the Norna chest. Yeah, the other one, the third seal is hidden behind that geyser, behind the chest, but I know where it is, so I didn't need to freeze it. And then once you've got that Iden Happel, guys, climb the chain nearby. Yeah, that should have been Norna chest 13 out of 30. 17 more to go. So you'll be spearing here now. As you can see, we can do a bit more um, exploration now. We've got our spear ability. That's why we didn't come here earlier. We were very close to this part of the map earlier on in the story. But this is why. We can't explore a lot of it. So once you get over here, come over to this... Um, I don't know what to call this, but I just call them chisel stones. Because you use your chisel in it. And it's kind of like made out of stone. I know it's kind of like a monument. But yeah. I put chisel and stone together and came up with chisel stone. Quite intelligent, right? So 
So you just use your chisel stone, then press square on that rune reed on the wall, and that will make the hammer move out of the way. And then you can loot this chest for the hammer of the revolution. That gets you a key item which is needed to complete the Spirit of Rebellion quest. That's the one that Durling gave us at the end of the last video, if you remember. Now my aim with this quest, we don't hand it in yet, it actually gets you a trophy when you complete it. But, my aim was to hand in this quest at the end of the game, when we get that other quest that I mentioned a little bit earlier. Uh, at the end of the game, which takes us in that part of the realm, down the side, down the south. Because we actually have to go back to Durlin for that this uh, specific end of game quest at the end of the game. Uh, and my intention was to hand them both in at, um, at once, at the same time. But the game will not let you do that. It sort of locks him into the end game quest. And you can't talk to him to hand in this quest, Spirit of Rebellion, and he's completed that end game quest, which becomes available. So we have to go and see him twice anyway. So, yeah, my intention was to save time, but in this case, it didn't work out. It didn't waste any more time. It just didn't seem to save time the way I thought it was. So once you kill them enemies, guys, get the bomb, lob it at the ore behind you, and there'll be a legendary chest, and you want to loot the Muspelheim Seed Half. Very, very important item, Muspelheim Seed Half, guys. Make sure you get that. Smash the next bit of ore blocking your path, and then look on the rocks to the left, and beyond this tree is a raven. Raven number 18 of 48. Do not miss it. Now here, there's one of them enemies which um, regenerate, well there's two here actually, that regenerate the other enemies, regenerate their HP. One is hidden on that ore on that rock in the middle, you saw me make it explode uh, as we first sort of enter this enemy encounter, so make sure you do that first, lob the bomb on top of the ore on the rock in the middle, get rid of that, uh, are they called knockers, or am I thinking about them little new type things? But yeah, kill them two um, enemies, which will regenerate them. And then you can finish off the remaining enemies. And they carry on through here, guys. And eventually you're going to reach a boss you have to fight. Brother, I had a yeah, like I said, it's going to be a boss. So just take your time and destroy him. This one's a bit of a bugger. He's all over the shop, this one. Yeah, sorry. Well, I was talking about Spirit of Rebellion. I didn't quite finish what I wanted to say. And I thought it was quite important, you know, just to look ahead. Yeah, so, like I say, my intention was to do two quests at once. We'll hand, hand one quest in when we have to go to the location of another quest. So, um, advance it. But the game will not let you do so because it locks you into the other quest. And the guy is, um, he's, he doesn't really care about anything else he's got to say. Because, a bit of an enemy, well, I don't want to say too much. Um, yeah, I almost, almost let cat out of the bag then. Yeah, but, um, so we have to go there again afterwards. So when it comes to Spirit of Rebellion, and when we finish, before we go into the, um, back to Sindri's house at the end of this video, if you want, you could just hand in the Spirit of Rebellion quest. It's not going to waste any more time, guys, because I have to come, I have to go to the same spot at the end, just to do that specific thing, and then go back to the Mystic Gateway. So if you want, once all is done, I'll mention it again at the end, you can track the Spirit of Rebellion favour, go and hand it in, and then crack on the story after that. So here, get your bomb guys, lob it at that um, or behind it, and then get this Lost Lindwim from this rift. Very, very important. That should be Lost Lindwim number 2 of 6, and then loot the rift afterwards as well for some goodies. Yes, yeah, so very, very important guys. Make sure you get that Lost Lindwim from that rift. And another thing, that boss we just killed, he dropped a very, very important, crucial upgrade material. Uh, but first, once you come down here guys, loot this legendary chest for some goodies. I loot this one because it has, I'll tell you, once it comes out. Yeah, you get a lot of hack silver, and um, you get that whetstone that lets you upgrade Freya's attack. Yep, and we're passing it anyway, so I'll just take a moment to loot it. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, that boss we just killed, he drops a very, very important material, guys. He drops, can I pronounce this right? I think I've actually spelt it wrong. Yeah, I think I have, um, on my guide. So he drops 
Zventhorn or something. Yes, yeah, Zventhorn times one. And there's only one of them in the game. And you need it to craft a hilt. Hilt or relic. Whatever you want to call them. At the end of the game. So that boss he drops a uh, Zventhorn. Times one. You need that to craft a relic later on in the game. And of course we've got Lost Lindrum afterwards. And then we just sailed over here. To this sunny little beach with a bit of wreckage on it. Yeah, this is Albrick Island. So what I'm going to do in a second, I'm going to knock because there's a Norna chest here. But don't really matter. Actually, didn't let me do it. That um, that crane I was just looking at. You have to knock it down in order to access one of the seals. It's that Norna chest with the timed seals. We have to hit them all within a certain time limit before they sort of um, recover. And that one, you have to knock down the crane to access it. Another one, you have to hit a. You have to hit a board to rotate it and make it raise. Uh, but it's also, guys, a berserker gravestone. So once you kill the um, initial enemies, make sure you're ready and interact with the gravestone. You can see he's quite a difficult one. This because he's a purple health bar. So he's either one or two levels above us. I forget which it is. So if you're having a bit of trouble with him, just come back later. There's no, it's not really any great advantage to doing it now, other than saving a bit of time. Yeah, doing him now just saves a bit of time, guys. So yeah, if you want, just come back to him later. If you've got mini boss checkpoints on, he's not too bad, because all you've got to focus on is getting his HP below half, getting his HP below half, and then you know that if you die and resume the fight. He's going to be at half HP. I don't know why sometimes they decrease level. Did you see Len? He went down a level. His health bar went from purple to orange. I don't know what it, I think it might be the hex ability from the arrow. You know when you've inflicted hex on them. I think it knocks a level down or something like that. Um, not sure exactly. But it happens quite a lot. You'll see it uh, throughout a lot of these berserker battles. Or even a lot of boss battles. Yeah, so as long as he gets health to halfway, um, you've only got really, you know, spaces fight out. Do it in two while well, I'm try and do it all at once. Do it in two halves. Focus on one one half of his HP. You die, because if you die, you get obviously you get full HP back. You get full rage, and you get your Berserker Stone back. So even if you use him in the first half of the fight, if you die, you'll get them all back, and you'll have half HP. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, once you got him, guys, obviously you'll get some materials from him. Yeah, it's mainly materials. I think you get a amulet, Asgard's might. Yep, and then other than that, yeah. So yeah, if you if you have too much trouble, guys, just come back later. Come back at the end of the story. Just try to make a note of all these um, the circuit bosses you're leaving. Uh, so obviously you remember to come back to them. You should be able to tell anyway by looking at the map, you know, the overview. You should see that it will say like Berserker Gravestone 0 out of 1 for example, because you didn't do it, or 0 out of 2 or whatever. But yeah, he's almost killed me, but um, I've still got my Berserker Stone left, so I'm good. And um, I've not even checkpointed yet. I did have to cut this video just before the fight though. I did die once. Um, but I died a lot more on my first time. Look at that. You can parry his projectiles back at him. He, he did not see that coming, did he? Oh, electrifying. Freya, don't touch me. I'm electrified. There you go. Back in the fight. And I probably should have brought another, uh, a, uh, a better resurrection stone as well. So that resurrection stone didn't really do much. I think it's still that simple one. Yeah, it gives you a pretty simple bonus when you revive. Yeah, you want to buy the Berserker Gravestones. Uh, sorry, the Berserker Resurrection Stones from now on. Because they give you full Rage Meter when you revive. So as soon as you get back up on your feet, you can go into Rage Mode, deal a bit of damage to the boss, and heal in the same time. So if you've killed him, that should be 3 out of 12 defeated. Or Berserker Gravestone, 3 out of 10. As I'm labelling it in my text portion of the guide. My text guide, by the way, is all complete, guys. Yeah, we've complete. I've completely optimised 
the full platinum and it's all complete in my text guide. Obviously the videos are going to be a bit longer because I'm uploading one daily. But yeah, if you want to look ahead, just for any reason, the full guide is done in text on the link in the description. Um, but yeah, once you kill the gravestone guys, or kill the berserker in the gravestone, we're going to do the Norna chest. So you see what I'm doing here? There we go. And um, as always, if you go for the lowercase n symbol first, for some, I don't know why, but that specific symbol, whatever type of Norna chest puzzle it is, that always seems to last longer. Yeah, the lowercase n. Right, so I'm just upgrading my runic attacks a bit more. I don't change my runic attacks at all. I keep my runic attacks for the rest of the game because I'm upgrading them all. So once you get up here, guys, come up here, turn left, destroy the sonic barrier with a sonic arrow. You can you can try to do it for next, but you won't have much luck. That's why it's called a sonic barrier. Only sonic arrows will work on it. And over this cliff edge is a raven, a very, very tricky raven to hit. Now you can use your spear to hit these, by the way. I didn't realize to a bit later on. But yeah, you can use your spear to hit them. You might find it a bit easier. You can't hit everything with your spear. What you, ha what you can hit with your ax. Uh, but ravens you can. Uh, but you can also press R1, remember, to throw your ax a bit differently. So you, you need to come down here after getting the raven. Then that was raven number 19 or 48, by the way. And that normal chest we just got was 14 or 30. Yeah, just go down that slope a bit more. Lob the ax into the rock to blow it up and release the lift. And then go back. Uh, sorry, not the lift. The um, grapple point and then go back and use your grapple point and then once you're on this sort of little pier come to this rift and take the lost wind rim from inside it that should be three out of six only three more to go make sure you loot the rift afterwards you want to make sure you loot all these rifts with the lost wind rims inside because all them the six scale sparks we get will eventually allow us to make a weapon upgrade for our spear much later on um, if you've just seen, I just hit a raven through that hole in the wall. That's raven number 20 or 48. Yeah, when you come on this small island, go to that hole in the wall first and get the raven. Which you can just see perched through it. Yep, so that's raven 20 or 48. Turn around, blow up that rock which I just did with a spear, and then come around and pull the chain. Once you pull the chain, freeze that cog on the right, use a hex arrow, and then freeze it so you can call your axe back. And then come over here and throw your axe at that geyser. And then quickly explode that wall as well. And then you can grapple across. And we're good to go. Up here, you don't need to kill these enemies, just grapple across to the top. We have to come up here just because this chest at the top has got a jewel inside. A jewel for our amulet, guys, to upgrade a bit more. This is jewel number four of seven. And you also get Whispering Slab times 30 and a whopping 45,000 hack silver from that chest. Look at that baby. Once you've got it, use a zip line. Yep, you can use your spear to create zip lines. Use that to get back down to the beach. Get back in your boat. And now we're going to head to the far east, I think it is. Yep, head to the east now. Just follow my lead. We don't have much more to do on this. I mean,. Most of collecting on this Bay of Bounty is done in the first half of this video uh, because after that there's a little favour you have to do in the middle and it's, it, it's quite a long one actually but you have to do it for a trophy. So we're coming straight over here to this dock and all we need to do here is get the raven guys. So all you're going to do literally is climb up the chain, get the raven which is sitting in front of you and then get back on your boat. This will be Raven number 21 of 48. So, one of your mining rigs is I think there's a Norna chest at one of these as well, but I avoid it. And there's also a favour which you can do up these a lot of these subregions, but you don't need to do it for platinum. Yeah, so just get that Raven, guys, and then come back the chain and get on the boat. Yeah, I think it's called In Service of Asgard. In Service of Asgard, I think that's the one. It's a favour you can do here where you have to destroy three rigs 
mining rigs or something, but you don't actually have to do it for platinum. That's why I'm ignoring it. So if you wonder why I'm not doing that a favor, if it's one, if I've got the name correct, that is why. So you're going to dock on this island in the middle. There, uh, that's it. That's where it's on the map. It's just called Giant Gazer at the moment. We're going to come up here, destroy this ore, and then make our way up this path. Kill these little guys. Yep, the weight of chains. Once you get to this island, after the dialogue, that favour should trigger the weight of chains. You have to do the weight of chains for platinum. Yep, there's a trophy at the end of it. So all you're doing, you're making your way around the linear part of the island. There's only one way you can take. Once you appear, kill the enemies. Because you need to intro out of that crank wheel on the right. Yep, the lock on, it's a bit annoying sometimes. Like it, I was trying to lock on onto nest end, but it kept locking onto one of the little newts. Yeah, so pull down the crank wheel and freeze the crank up on the um, framework on the right. There's actually a lift inside. And then once it's frozen with the lift in the lower uh, position, you're going to climb across, get on it, and then call your axe back and that will take you to the top. Once you're at the top, we're going to dive through the floor. There you go. Kill the enemies down here. And we're going to get the key, guys. The watchtower key. Yeah, you have to get you get to you get the watchtower key, and then you go to another island. You do something with that key, and then you have to come back to this island where we are now. But the part you the part of the island you're on at the moment is a very very small portion of this island. You'll see exactly what I mean. But yeah, loot that coffin. There's a watchtower key, guys, and you'll get a random amount of hack silver. Likely 160 something. Pales in comparison to that 45,000 we just got from that legendary chest. You find at the end of the game when you loot hack silver, you'll be getting 1,000 plus, not them little tiny amounts of 100. But this is why it's like at the beginning of the game. You get, when you start off, you get very small amounts of hack silver and materials, but as you get further into the game, you'll get more and more from pickups. Just how it works. So it's Collecting everything early on in the game is sort of not very time efficient. So once you're here guys on the watchtower, take the right path and destroy that rock. Uh, destroy the ore by exploding the bomb and then climb up here. There's going to be a raven up here guys and this will be raven number 22 of 48. I'm cleaning it from here because if you go, you see that ramp head, if you go up that ramp it's going to trigger a fight. So if you stay here, it doesn't trigger it. Um, it actually triggers one of the Draugr holes, I think. It's sort of like a little boss fight, but it's not needed for platinum. It'll get you some material. So if you want to go up there and kill it, it's fine. It'll just take it'll just take you a minute or two, but it may give you a a better view of that raven, or you can just destroy it from where I did. That's raven number 22 or 48. And then once you've done so, guys, come over to the store. And unlock it with the watchtower key. Once you've done so, come up here, interact with sort of like a tombola type thing, this drum. Pick it up and then have Freya shoot it. And you'll see exactly what's about to happen. Behold! Yeah, Hidden Island. It was submerged below the water. Yeah, Link Buck Island. So that's where we go next. That's part of the weight of chains favour. Return to the creature. We'll be returning not just yet. You just wait, hold on your horses. We're going back there in a minute. First, we're going to come over to Sindri's shop. Get some lost items. Look at them goodies. And if you can, try and... I can't, but I'm going to upgrade Freya's sword, the Throngabra. There we go, level 3 max. Yeah, you can upgrade your amulet a bit more. 
so you can place another socket. There you go, just lob on whatever you wish. Pretty, at this point, pretty much, I'm I'm not really selecting anything uh, for any particular reason. I'm just slotting all the ones which increase your stats and then just random ones to fill the sockets, I guess. Uh, so on this bit, guys, Radvin's rig. Yep, just gonna kill the enemies first and then we're gonna get Norna chest and a raven. And that's all we do here. Yeah, this will be Norna chest number 15 of 30. It will have a apple inside it. And then we'll also get Raven number 23 of 48 perched on the crane behind the Norna chest. And then once you've done this, we're going to go back to Linkback Island. Yeah, but um, once you get to Linkback Island, there's a few things you have to do to it to um, open up areas so you can access more of the island. That's pretty much what a favour is about. Unlocking the island and then making way through the island to unlock and access layer areas and obviously making way to the next area. There are a few collectibles there. There's an artifact and a raven. Yeah, but once you've done this one guys, once you've done the weight of chains, that's pretty much it. The rest of the chapter, the video, will just be um, progressing the main story a little bit. Just until we get ready for the next main story quest. Yeah, so once you got them, we're going to free the Norna chest now. So climb up here, there is one over there, just explode the pot and that should light the um, the brazier. There's another one behind these, you need to use sonic arrows to destroy them barrels. There's another one, you use your blades of chaos to light it. And there's another one beside the chest. There you go. Yes, like I say, this was Norna chest number 15. And behind it, perched on the crane hook, it's raven number 23. There you go. So get this guys and then make your way back to the island in the middle and um, I'll see you there. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. The All Father put you up to this? No. So once you dock here, guys, like I said, there's a few things you have to do to um, gain access to the rest of the island. Uh, so, other than that, there's only two collectibles here. So I say, just follow what I'm doing here, and then what I'll do, I'll come back to the commentary once we reach the artifact and the raven, which we're going to collect. And then uh, we'll do the rest of the weight of chains and then we'll just crack on with the story. Too. If you could, uh. easy, easy. At least the creature is still alive. I'm sure it spent countless winters wishing it wasn't. But we're going to free it, and then. And then it will still wish for death. Uh. 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 This chain we're climbing now, remember this chain. Just behind it is some ore. So just down there, you see that ore just there? Just remember that because you might need to come and destroy it. I don't need to uh, because there's a crow, a raven, 
and it's very tricky to hit but if you have in trouble you're supposed to destroy that ore jump across and go through the crawl space to reach it but you see that crow down there that raven you can hit it from here but it's a little bit tricky I did it to try and save time but I think in the end I just wasted more time but in future in a past practice on this I did kill it a lot quicker took me quite a few attempts here but yeah if you're having trouble doing this don't worry about it like I say just carry on uh, with the way it's changed a little bit and once you discover the next bomb you're actually going to find a bomb here once you discover the bomb on this part of the island uh, you're going to see me destroy some ore near a dock below which you have to get in our boat and sail to uh, but before you get back in your boat so you still want to blow up the ore you grab, grab that same bomb and then take it round to where that chain was which we just climbed there you go got it that's Raven 2448 and over here guys is another artifact artifact number 21 of 43 uh, Berserk's poems. We remain part of the second, so make sure you pick that up. Yeah, if you can't get that raven, like I say, carry on a little bit until you unlock the bomb, and then you take that to where the chain was, destroy the ore, jump across a gap, and then there'll be a crawl space on the right. Go through that crawl space, and that l literally brings you out right next to where that raven was, and then it's mega easy then. So yeah, if you're having trouble, do it the way I was. Just do it the way you intended. But yeah, just carry on along here a bit more, guys, and unlock the bomb. Uh, I'll just come back after that, just to let you know that at this moment in time, this is where you can go and get that raven, if you want to. Why enslave the creature? Its fat was a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns. Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing of your name, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. But then, if you could. I know. Just the tail left now. Yeah, this is the bomb. So you want to take it over here to the east and destroy the ore. And that, that's actually a dock which we need to sail around to to access a tail. So destroy that ore, lift up this gate, and then if you didn't get that raven, guys, you want to get that bomb now and go back to where the chain was. Obviously, destroy the ore, go through a crawl space, and then get the raven. And then once you've done so, come back here, get back in your boat. Yeah, we're just going to sail around to the back from that dock we just freed by destroying the ore. We're gonna get in there, we're gonna knock down the tail. And once you've released the tail guys, then we can, all we've gotta do then is sail around to his eye. And once you get to his eye, that'll pop the trophy. We could kill it. No, not when we can save it. Good. Reach the tail from this dock. <laughs> you would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
shield must be chained as well. <laughs> Sliding down that rope should take us where we need to go. Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, Bubba? You're punishing yourself, aren't you, Mamir? For exploiting the laborers. For the Lungbacher. Of course. Who else is going to? I'd consider Odin chaining you to a tree for hundreds of years a sort of penance. You'll agree to disagree. You great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But... No. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. At least it can feel the wind on its face. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Here we go. Yeah, you just come over here, guys, and you should pop a trophy. Making amends. Yeah, we did all that just for a trophy. The things we do for trophies, right? Yeah, free of the ling bark. There you go. The weight of chains complete. And we've got that little trophy. Silver one. So that's it, guys. That's all the exploring we're doing here for now in the Bay of Bounty. You do not need to revisit this part of the realm at all. We have done everything here for platinum. If you did 100% the game, that's a different matter. You would have to come back here at the end of the game. Uh, just because there are some things which will not appear until the end of the game anyway. Uh, but yeah. We've just done all this. No need to come back here. All we've got to do now is worry about the southern part of the realm. But that will be later on. So what we're going to do now guys. Just going to go on the story for a little bit. I'm going to cut out a few cutscenes. Which you'll see along the way. And then once you get to the end. We'll be ending the video just before the Unleashing Hell main mission and then the next video will be continuing on with the story and we'll just be doing the story pretty much from now on guys until the end of the game we'll be getting all collectibles along the way of course uh, so we, most areas we will not have to revisit all that we'll be doing at the end of the game is um, exploring areas which we haven't been to yet yep I'm trying to see if um, that tickles Freya a little bit uh, but yeah I'll just Leave the rest of the game playing guys, like I say, I'll skip out of cutscenes and I'll just come back at the end of the video, just give the closing, closing outro. There he is! Hey! Come show off the spear! See what we done! Now do the thing! Oh, look at that. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much work. 
Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. It is safe. And serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off, but he's softened since then. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. To think the mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Bay. I fear for him. He is innocent. down in his library. What is going on about? I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. 
Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. Yeah, but here we are guys, this is where the next main mission begins, Unleashing Hell. Yeah, so I'll leave it there guys. Yeah, we didn't get much done in terms of story, but we did do a lot of collectibles, so that's nice to get them out of the way. Uh, but thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next video.